Hi, this is Brad Pilon for TruthRoutProtein.com, and today I want to talk to you about protein and testosterone. Uh, very interestingly, most people associate protein and testosterone as, as two things that build muscle. And so they sort of take that logic and go forward that therefore eating more protein means more testosterone. Uh, in fact, it's the exact opposite that's true. There seems to be a negative correlation between the amount of protein you eat and your testosterone levels, showing that people who follow a high protein diet actually end up having lower testosterone levels than people who follow a lower testosterone diet. Sorry, lower protein diet. They've also found that post-workout protein can actually blunt the testosterone response to a weight training workout. So there's quite a lot of evidence showing that dietary protein, either your chronic high protein intake or even a dose of protein before, during, after a workout, seem to be able to somehow lower testosterone levels. Now, this sounds kind of scary, but truth be told, I've never seen any research to suggest that a high protein diet or post-workout protein decreases muscle mass. In fact, it's exactly the opposite. There is a relationship between dietary protein and the amount of muscle you have. It's not a dose response relationship. We talk about my, that in my book, How Much Protein, but there is a relationship there. The same with post-workout protein. While it seems to be a bit of a weaker relationship, at least long term, there's never been ev any evidence to suggest that post-workout protein actually decreases the muscle building effect of resistance training. So while there is a lot of evidence to suggest that a high protein diet or post-workout protein can decrease or blunt testosterone, there's no evidence to suggest yet that this blunting affects your ability to build muscle mass. So I'm Brad Pilon for Truth About Protein, and that is protein and testosterone.